Hi beauty lovers, it's me Flavio and welcome back to my channel. But maybe that's your first time over here. If that's the case, thank you so much for tuning in. In this video I'll be doing a makeup tutorial for a bridegroom look. Yes, and why would I come with the idea to create a bridegroom look? I mean, well the reason is I'm getting married. <laughs> yes, I just I would never thought in my 47 years of age that I would get married ever one day, but this is happening. Um, I did propose for my fiance last year in Christmas times and he did accept and we are getting married this year in July and a lot of people have been asking me am I gonna wear makeup am I gonna wear makeup because they know me uh, because I am a makeup artist they see me wearing very full-on glam makeup on my social media for my makeup tutorials and videos in general and I think it's quite natural for them to wonder if I would use makeup or wear makeup on my own wedding day. And I must confess, I still don't know if I'm gonna do that, but I was like, hmm, why I don't do them a makeup tutorial about a bridegroom look? And I mean, I'm not gonna go all groomed because I am already groomed. My face is already done. My eyebrows is already done. I did already apply some bronzer, but I haven't done anything on my eyes, but I will. And this is what we're gonna do on this video. So you, if you're interested to see how this is going to turn out, which kind of bridegroom makeup look that I'm gonna create, then you should watch this video until the end, all right? But before we go on, I would like to ask you if you could like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel because it does help the YouTube algorithm to push my videos towards a larger audience. And I appreciate every help to achieve my next goal, which is 5,000 followers, all right? So thank you so much in advance. But first, let me get one thing straight. This isn't a advertisement, but it is a sponsored video. I did work last year in partnership with NYX Professional Makeup. Uh, they commissioned me to create two full body paintings for TwitchCon, actually, to be honest. And I was granted with so many products. And among the products that they gave to me, it came also the Jumbo eye pencil and as you can see they are they are all here let me show you they are all here and they are always too close i didn't use all of them i did use some of them uh, actually the white one i'd like to use the white one to highlight my face especially on camera but the colors they are really beautiful and very nice and i think it could be a nice way to create a more masculine makeup look for bridegroom but I thought it would be fair to tell you that those products, I got them for free, all right? Although, like I said, it's not an advertisement, it is a partnership, okay? So, but now you know. But before we go on, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some swatches on the back of my arm so that we see how all those colors react on my skin tone and also to see the payoff of the product and why I am choosing to work with the Jumbo Eye Pencils. First of all is because um, it's very easy to create an application and maybe you are a bridegroom yourself and you want to replicate this look on yourself. This could be a great way to do this. It's kind of easy, it's very user friendly, but it's also quite long lasting. And considering it's a bridegroom and you're gonna be dancing and sweating and go crazy, you want to make sure that this is going to last. So this is the reason why I'm choosing to work with the Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX Professional Makeup. All right guys, so I just finished it up the swatches as you can see the payoff is quite high to be honest which I was actually expecting that considering this is an eye pencil I mean like a cream kind of formula so the payoff is really high so I'm gonna name the colors for the ones that I have over here might be the other ones on their website but these are the ones that I have with me the first color is the milk cottage cheese iced latte the sherbet the frappe the blueberry pop the eggplant and the black bean but okay without any further ado i'm just gonna create a look on myself and i'm gonna be using the color frappe around my eyes okay so hold on so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go applying this all around the lash line 
the upper and the lower lash line and using a blending brush just like that I'm just going to blend it out the product I have no idea how long is the play time of this product so that's why I want to already blend it out you should know that I haven't applied any eyeshadow base on my eyelid or any other product so my eyelid is like f completely free of products well I can tell that this blended very easily this blended just like very easily Right, I'm gonna do the other side, okay? Hold on. What I like about this is because it's creating this kind of sultry, smoky eye around my eyes, but not super heavy, you know, so... And you might be wondering, what are all the advantages of using a eyeshadow on a stick or the Jumbo eye pencil, if you will? The thing is, for example, for lens wearers, this could be very convenient because I know for a fact, I'm not a lens wearer, but I have clients that they are. And I had some situations where I was doing their makeup and somehow some kind of eyeshadow powder fell into their eyes and it got underneath their lenses. And when they wear hard lenses, which are not the ones, the flexible ones, this can be, well, this is terrible because this, this person will start to tear it up and almost like crying like a baby really and it most of the time it's just ruin your whole makeup and you just have to give time to this person to remove the lenses clean it up take all the makeup and start all over but when you use an eyeshadow stick or the jumbo eye pencil if you will what you have is you know for sure that this is not gonna fall into the eye so it's for someone who wears hard lenses this is very convenient not only for a bridegroom look but on your daily basis okay and oh, this is really pretty let's let's just go all around this is looking really nice but this is too kind of flat, so I'm gonna play with other colors. I'm gonna come right now with a little bit of the cottage cheese, the one with, with has the sheen. And I'm just gonna apply right on the middle of my eyelid right here. And I'm gonna be using the same blending brush. This is just to try to create a little bit of dimension and less flat, if you will. Right there. Right there. What I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna add black bean, which is the black color. And I am going to start from the waterline and work it towards the roots of my lashes. So, and one of the things that I like to do when I want to apply any kind of color on my waterline is to apply, especially in the upper waterline, is to apply in the lower waterline. And then what I do is to blink my eyes firmly a few times like that to allow to transfer to the upper part, which is basically what just happens. So I'm gonna now use the same blending brush because I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it, when I start to, to blinking my eyes, it did bleed a little bit around the lash line, which is not a problem because I, my intention is to, to go also a little bit over there. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add now a little bit here on the socket of my eyes. I must tell you that the way that this is blending into each other is very effortless. It's very user-friendly. And I had not used this before like that. So for me, this has been quite a pleasant surprise. I'm gonna go back a little bit with the first Jumbo pencil that I used, the Frappe, right, right there. Might be, you might be wondering, well, but he just applied the cottage cheese on the middle of the eyelid. Yes, I know. I can, but I can reapply the cottage cheese again. The thing is, I think I missed a little bit of the, the warmth on the eyelid. There we go. How are you guys liking it so far? It's very smoky, I know. But again, it's for a bridegroom. 
What were you expecting, Alan? Okay, I'm gonna go back now with milk. And this time I'm gonna go right in the inner corner, right there. And I'm gonna be using a pen brush, something like this, just to blend it out a bit. Okay, let's go back now with cottage cheese right here and now I'm just going to use my fingers oh my goodness this is this is so easy to use even with your fingers this is blending just and so easily all right so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna curl my lashes a little bit I'm not gonna be using a mascara for this time why because like I said I don't want to create a too glamorous look and I do think that when you apply a mascara in a man it tends to create some kind of vulnerability with the bumpy eyes I don't know maybe that's the association that I make it based upon my own perception so this is one of the reasons why I'm not gonna go with mascara on this look but I will though um, curl my lashes okay so hold on well as you can see I did remove what I put on my waterline because I wasn't feeling actually the direction this look was going to. I think it was for a bridegroom a little bit too much of a smoky eye, too much of a pirate kind of rock star kind of look and that's not the vibe that I wanted to give so I decided to use a q-tip and just clean the entire waterline. What I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna use the color milk which is the white one to show you how I like to use it to do other things like highlighting my face on the highest points of my face among others the tip of my nose okay so hold on so what I like to do is just like going right here there and just blend it a little bit another thing that I like to do is just like to highlight right in the middle of the nose Right there. There. And uh, using a beauty blender with a little bit of the rest of the concealer that I used on myself, I'm just going to blend it out like this. Not all the way, but you can see already that thin part going over there. And as you did see, I did go with a little bit of the milk in the inner corner of my eyes as well. So now hold on, I'm just gonna put something more comfortable, something more appropriate for a bridegroom look. And I'm gonna give you the conclusion of what I think about the Jumbo Eye Pencils for Nikos Cosmetics, all right? So hold on for a second. All right, all right, so. I think this is a little bit more appropriate for a bridegroom look, don't you think? I mean, it's not fully on a bridegroom, but it's more like a shirt, I think, just giving a little bit of the idea. So, but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna tell you what I've done. And I, I've, as you could see on the makeup demo, I didn't set this with any powder, but I will do it right now. I'm using here a bloating powder, which is one that contains very little pigmentation. It will be just enough to set this. Why? Because for what I know with my experience, every product that has a creamy base or a liquid base it's still blendable until the moment that you set using a powder the reason why i go with the uh, bloating powder is because a bloating powder has very little pigmentation which you would not have a lot of interference in the end result of the color that i just create for my look and now i'm gonna give you my final conclusion about this product this product retails for five dollars and fifty cents which i still think it's quite affordable i did find the area of opportunity on this product for example when i was doing the swatches on my arm i wanted actually to well as you can see is i mean it's kind of mind when you consider that this cap is loose and you go like okay I'm gonna screw it out but it does not come anything outside and to be honest I had to go online and search for someone else's video on YouTube to see how did this person did to, to have this product going up again on their video they showed me using a q-tip and going from the back of the product and pushing it upwards. I mean, it's an area of opportunity. If NYX Cosmetics, if you're watching this, uh, maybe you could give some instructions on the packaging or just make this roll 
yeah, you know, this rollout system, which this is not the case. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to deal with this situation, and it's a kind of a frustration which is unnecessary. So for this, I wish there would be a better and easier way to, to use your product, because if you don't know and if you don't have the slight idea to where to search for a solution, I think you would end up having a product which is still full and not being able to use, all right? But for the purpose that I just use it right now, I think it's, it's nice, all right? Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making it. Please remember to like and share this video because it does help the YouTube algorithm to push my videos towards a larger audience. And I also would immensely appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and help me to reach my next goal, which is 5,000 followers, all right? Again, guys, thank you so much for your time, love and support, and I see you all next time. Bye-bye.